hi dear students today we are going through another problem related to preparation of balance sheet from ratios okay it is similar to those we have already covered sales and gross profit which is used to calculate cost of goods sold current ratio liquid ratio used to calculate current assets liquid assets current liabilities etc stock turnover used to calculate stock debtors turnover used to calculate debtors turnover to fixed assets used to calculate fixed assets reserves and surplus to calculate used to reserves and surplus and capital fixed asset to net worth used to calculate net worth or equity capital gearing used to calculate loan based on equity etc here turnover refers to cost of sales turnover endu varna sales alla കോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് സെയിൽസ് ആണ് അതായത് കോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഗുഡ് സോൾഡ് ആണ് ഇവിടെ കൺസിഡർ ചെയ്യുക ഓക്കെ ഓൾവേസ് ദ സ്റ്റാർട്ടിംഗ് പോയിൻ്റ് വി നോ ഈസ് സ്റ്റോക്ക് സോ സെയിൽസ് ഈസ് ട്വൽവ് ലാക്സ് കോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഗുഡ് സോൾഡ് ഈസ് നയൻ ലാക്സ് ബിക്കോസ് ട്വൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ഈസ് അവർ ഗ്രോസ് പ്രോഫിറ്റ് റേഷ്യോ ട്വൽവ് ലാക്സ് മൈനസ് ട്വൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ബാറ്റ് ബാലൻസ് ഈസ് നയൻ ലാക്സ് സ്റ്റോക്ക് ടേൺ ഓവർ റേഷ്യോ ഈസ് ഗിവൺ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് നയൻ so based on these values we can calculate stock because stock turnover ratio is equal to cost of goods sold divided by average stock so average stock is equal to cost of goods sold 9 lakhs divided by stock turnover ratio 9 so the amount is 1 lakh for stock what is the second stage secondly we will move to current ratio and liquid ratio okay then current ratio is 1.75 that is current asset is 1.75 current la- liquid asset is 1.25 that is liquid ratio is 1.25 is to 1 then stock here is the difference between current asset and liquid asset that is 1.75 minus 1.25 so 0.50 is stock the amount of stock is 1 lakh based on this we can calculate current asset as current asset is equal to 1 lakh divided by 0.5 into 1.75 okay liquid asset is equal to 1 lakh divided by 0.5 into 1.25 current liability is equal to 1 lakh divided by 0.5 into 1 because in all the ratios 1 will be current liability so we go to the values of stock current asset liquid asset and the current liabilities then we will look at the problem whether there is any other item related to current assets there is one ratio debtors collection period 1.25 okay debtors collection period is given in months so you need not go through different equation simply go to the same equation debtors turnover ratio is equal to net credit annual sales divided by average debtors so average debtors is equal to net credit annual sales divided by debtors turnover ratio here ratio is not given months are given so what will be done you simply multiply the months okay now debtors is equal to 12 lakhs that is net credit sales indu debtors collection period is 1.5 months so 1.5 divided by 12 12 lakhs into 1.5 divided by 12 is equal to 1 lakh 50000 debtors is over okay now we have got current asset of 3.5 lakh from this stock is 1 lakh debtors is 1.5 lakh so 3.5 minus 1 minus 1.5 that is a balance of an amount of rupees 1 lakh because total current asset is 3.5 lakh stock is 1 debtors is 1.5 total 2.5 that is 1 lakh balance that is taken as cash or other current asset we will take it as other current asset so we go to another item other current asset 1.1 lakh so the details of current assets are over stock debtors other current assets now let us move to the next item fixed assets okay that is related to the 
item on the asset side so we will move to fixer assets there is a ratio turnover that is cost of sales because the last sentence in the question is turnover refers to cost of sales cost of sales means cost of goods sold so turnover to fixer assets ratio is given in the question that is 1.2 okay so cost of sales is 9 lakhs so fix turnover to fixer assets ratio is 1.2 so fixer asset is equal to 9 lakhs divided by 1.2 into 1 one ratio of 1.2 means 1.2 is to 1 okay 9 lakhs divided by 1.2 into 1 is equal to 7 lakh 50 thousand fixer asset is there another ratio related to fixer asset is fixer assets to net worth ratio fixer assets to net worth ratio is 1.25 is to 1 so we can calculate net worth from this okay fixer asset is 7.5 lakhs so net worth is equal to 7 lakh 50 thousand divided by 1.25 into 1 1 is net worth okay so net worth is 6 lakhs okay the next ratio is a reserve and surplus to capital ratio it is uh, there is a mistake here it is point 2 is to 1 0.2 is to 1 that is right 0.2 is to 1 okay so it is 0.2 is to 1 so total net worth we have already calculated it is 6 lakhs so the value of total net worth will be 1.2 because 0.2 plus 1 0.2 is to 1 so 0.2 plus 1 1.20 okay it is 6 lakhs so reserves and surplus we can calculate as 6 lakh divided by 1.2 into 0.2 okay it is 1 lakh and capital will be 6 lakhs divided by 1.2 into 1 that is 5 lakhs there is one more item in the question capital gearing ratio capital gearing ratio is 0 0.5 0 0.5 means 0 0.5 is to 1 Okay. it is the ratio between loan and equity that is given in the question loan to equity is 0 0.5 is to 1 so loan is 0 0.5 and equity is 1 okay equity we know that is net worth share capital plus reserves and surplus that is called equity equity shareholders fund okay sim not simply share capital but share capital plus reserve so equity or net worth is one that is six lakhs so based on this we can calculate value of loan loan is equal to six lakh divided by one into point five is equal to three lakhs now we have got uh, all the items the balance sheet will be just like this equity five lakhs Get capital 5 lakh, reserves and surplus 1 lakh, loan 3 lakhs, current liability is 2 lakhs. Fixed assets 7.5 lakhs, stock 1 lakh, debt is 1.5 lakh, other current assets 1 lakh, total will be 11 lakhs. Okay. Okay. I am examining this question once more. I am repeating this because this is very important as far as your examination point of view is concerned. Okay. How to solve the problem? first stage is to calculate cost of goods sold cost of goods sold is calculated to find the value of stock okay then take the ratios current ratio and liquid ratios current ratios are calculated to find current assets and liquid assets and current liabilities okay then next one is to find the value of debtors that is debtors collection period is used to calculate the value of debtors the next stage will be to calculate other current assets because we know the value of current assets and there is stock and debtors so the third item is other current assets by finding simply the difference between current assets minus stock minus debtors this will be other current assets okay so current asset part is over then next stage is to find fixed assets there will be one ratio which is relating fixed asset to sales always the amount given in the question will be sales okay based on this value we will calculate the amount of fixed assets because there will be one question which is related to fixed asset and sales 
okay here it is fixed assess to net worth ratio then we will get the value of fixed assets now the fixed asset the asset side is over secondly we will pass to the liability side okay then there will be one item which is relating liability side and asset side that is here fixed assets to net worth ratio okay based on fixed asset we will have to find net worth net worth is the items which is including capital plus reserves and surplus and there will be one item in the question which is to find to split the amount of net worth into reserves and surplus okay there will be also items just like this this is used to calculate the loan amount okay always look at the bottom side whether there is any hint related to the cost of sales cost of goods sold net worth etc okay then now it is over okay now i think you are very familiar with this okay sales and gross profit used to calculate cost of goods sold this is used to find stock okay these items are used to link between current assets and liquid assets okay current assets and liquid assets are also linked with debtors okay if all these items are linked then we will also find other current assets then we will move to the next item that is fixed assets we will find fixed assets okay then this fixed asset is linked to net worth okay then this net worth is linked to reserves and surplus and capital okay also you will look at other items related okay this is how we will solve the problems related to preparation of balance sheet using ratios okay if you have any query text me okay